Hi guys. I'm gonna do another video. I just did a short TikTok um, responding to someone that I actually just saw do another TikTok that was like reflecting the opposite of what I'm about to share with you guys in this video. So basically what this video is going to be about is I'm gonna talk about how a lot of times women allow society and other women and some men to talk them out of their worth and i have to talk about this now i mind you i believe that i've already talked about worth quite a bit on my page but i just feel like it needs to be talked about more because i feel like y'all not listening like y'all not paying attention enough and this is necessary <laughs> okay this is very necessary you know why because here's the thing Anytime people want to sit there and tell you, you're a human being. As a woman, you're a human being first. And you're a lady second. Okay? You deserve, as a human being and as a lady, you deserve to have the best treatment possible for you. Especially if you're putting your best... Especially if you're putting your best self out there for others to experience, you deserve the best as well okay and i just went through a short video TikTok of a woman saying that a man is not a financial plan mind you i'm not saying that he is but hear me out though <laughs> we don't notice how much we teach ourselves to be toxic and when i tell you it annoys me god darn it it annoys me because here's the thing, I've studied animals my entire life, okay? I love animals, I've, I've, I love them. I've been studying them for years and I probably will die studying them because I love them that much, okay? And one thing that is very common in every animal kingdom, no matter what animal it is, is that the male species of animals knows how to take care of the female and has no problems with it. You have birds. Do you think that the male bird sits there and argues with the female bird about her value? And say, oh girl, you think I'm gonna be sitting here going to get food for you, you must be crazy. Why she about to have babies and getting the nest ready for the, for the chicks? Or do you think that the father is excited and happy and ready to provide for his lady because he knows she's a prize, she's precious, she's the queen, she deserves to be cared for, she deserves to be catered to, she deserves to be treated like she's a queen, she deserves to be treated like she's valuable. Here's the thing, this is what I have come to realize that I feel like a lot of people don't think about. The major reason to make sure that you're getting with someone that has money is not because, oh, you wanna make sure you're cute. Mind you, there's nothing wrong with making sure you're cute, but hear me out. It's not to make sure you're cute, more so than it is to make sure that if you have any children or if you create a life with this man, that it will actually be worth living and not stressing stress out because you broke and you messed up financially and you don't know from one day to the next how you're gonna eat how you're gonna get pampers for the kids how you're gonna get clothes for yourself or your children how you're gonna take care of the household okay um, am I saying that the man is supposed to be the only one to take care of the household heck no look at me I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businesswoman. Like even though my businesses are pretty new, like only like two, three years in, still regardless, I'm still doing it. So you know, obviously, I don't believe in a woman not having a career of her own because I have a career of my own. So I'm not trying to tell a woman, oh no, don't have a career of your own, don't have money of your own. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is be mindful that if you're gonna pick a man to have sex with and get nasty with 
and possibly not use protection and possibly have children, make sure you're having kids with a man that can afford children, okay? And I realize that's one of the major reasons why women are supposed to make sure men that they're with have money. It's not so that you can make sure my hair is done. It's not so you can make sure I'm fed. It's so that I can make sure that if we have any children, that you can actually afford to take care of them. That all of the pressure won't be on my back when I did not have them by myself. Get my drift? What hurts me the most is not even the men that's sitting here talking this smack, but it's the females. Because darling, just because you don't see your worth does not mean that you talk me down off of mine, of seeing mine. It does not mean that you sit there and try to make me feel like I am not worthy just because you don't feel like you are. Because in all actuality, I already know it's a lot of females out here confidence so low, low to the flow, okay, that they'll try to get your confidence down because they feel like you're too confident, you're too, uh, people like to use the, the, the saying, your head's too far in the clouds, darling, my head belongs in the clouds, I want to be in heaven, like I want to be in heavenly state, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to be on no hellish mode. So no, my head is never too far in the clouds, my darling, because that's, my, that's where my head's supposed to be. I'm supposed to make sure that if I'm going to be intimate with somebody, possibly build another life with them, I have to make sure that they can actually handle what we're possibly getting ourselves into. See, y'all think, oh, these girls are just trying to make sure they cute and just make sure a guy is just taking care of them all the time. But y'all don't think outside the box and realize it's not about getting the hair done. It's not about getting the nails done. It's not about getting me something to eat. Because the fact of the matter is I was getting my hair and nails done and getting me something to eat way before I even knew you existed, darling. So if I really needed you for that, then I wouldn't have been alive to meet you. Capiche? I hear a lot of men asking the question of, oh, would women be able to actually take care of their bills if it wasn't for men? What kind of stupid question is that? Didn't she take care of her bills before she knew you existed? Didn't she take care of her bills before she even knew that your mama gave birth to you? Didn't she? So how you figure she can't take care of her bills without you? whether she gets another man to pay for him or not. Cause I mean, yeah, I know some bitches do that. Excuse my mouth, but yeah, some, some females do that. Be like, okay, you won't pay it, somebody else will. Which is true. And, you know, I just felt like it was very necessary for me to bring this video, you know, out and talk about this because I am very tired, very tired of society and of these women that have no self-esteem. Fuck low self-esteem, excuse my mouth, but y'all don't have no self-esteem, okay? Sitting here trying to tell another woman that does have self-esteem, has built her self-esteem, and has realized what her worth is, and that understands, why would I get with someone that is not mindful of ensuring that I'm great, I'm taken care of, I'm fed, and I'm happier than I was before I was around them. Why wouldn't I want to be with somebody like that? That actually puts an improvement on my life as opposed to stressing me the hell out until I kick them out my life. Because, <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of these relationships that you ladies get yourself into, dealing with a guy that can't take you out to dinner, dealing with a guy that can't, give you some kind of money to help you out whatever the heck you doing dealing with a guy that can't at least make sure you eat matter of fact the rapper remy ma said it best she said okay so 
you want to have sex with this woman, right? Because these men want sex. We know that. It's safe to assume. We know that, right? You want to have sex with this woman, right? You want to you want to get down and nasty with her, right? Why can't you make sure she can eat? Why can't you make sure that if she needs anything, that you got her back? Why can't you make sure you show her a good time and make her feel happy that she fucking with you? Why not? Now, of course, I par paraphrased the, what she said, but she said something to that extent. Y'all, my head hurts right here. I don't even know why. I don't know. It might have something to do with the wig. That's why I, probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I might take this joint off because it's got my head hurting right here. And I know my head wasn't hurting right there before I put the wig on. Now, it is a possibility that I might be having a, a pimple coming, and that might be what it is because it do feel like a little lump. But I don't feel no pimple, though. So, I don't know. It's just a little weird. Sorry about that. But anyway, y'all, like, I just had to um, put this video out there because, like, I've been feeling very frustrated, like, seeing so many people talking down on people for having confidence and be being bold in their confidence and saying, well, if you want poom poom, then I want to be taken out to eat. I want to be taken to uh, some nice events. I want to be shown a great time. I want to be treated like a princess, like a queen, like I'm supposed to be treated. How is it wrong for me to want to make sure that I get the best out of life and the best out of whoever decides that they want to be in a relationship with me? How is there something wrong with that? How is it that any woman feels the audacity to sit there and try to tell me, oh, stop looking at a man to do anything financially for you? Okay, tell yourself that. Don't tell me that shit. Excuse my mouth, but don't tell me that. Because listen, let me tell you something. If you getting any nookie from me, you know how everybody always like to say ain't shit free? Excuse my mouth. Take it as it resonates, okay? Nothing is free. Not to say that you directly have to pay for poom poom. We're not saying that. We're, we're not advertising that at all. But what we are saying is do not come over here with that foolishness. Sitting here trying to tell me that the confidence that I worked on myself to build, okay? Because that shit didn't come free. It didn't come easy. And it didn't come by itself. I had to go get it. And I had to go build it up for myself. You, another female that obviously don't have that self-esteem build and that confidence, are not going to get the ability to sit there and try to tell me that my confidence that I worked so hard to obtain is ill-gotten and I don't deserve to have that and that I should be sitting here expecting a man not to do anything but put a pee-pee in me? That's it? You mean to tell me that's the only thing I could get out of this? Yeah, right. And I know I'm not wrong. Yeah, right. You want something from me, and we know what that something is. We're not going to get vulgar here. So, we're going to make sure things are fair and respectable on both ends. Now, let me clarify this. I'm definitely not one of those women that will say, oh, use that man for every dime that he got and don't give him shit. Don't do nothing for him. Excuse my mouth. But no, I would not tell you to do that. Mind you, I've had a number of exes that I did not do a lot for because they were not very appreciative. But one thing that I can say about my boyfriend, blah, 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 pff, yo, my mouth, getting all tongue tied. But it, anything, anyway. One thing that I can say about my boyfriend that I have right now is that um, he makes me happy to buy stuff for him. Like, he makes me happy to do stuff for him. Like, um, 
sometimes when I go shopping, like I shop a lot on Amazon. I'm just y'all probably if y'all already watch me, y'all probably already noticed. Like Amazon typically is my go to to get a lot. I would say almost everything, but I'm not gonna go there for it. But I'm, I will say a lot, okay? Like this dress right here, Amazon. So <laughs> examples, you know. So with that being the case, like a lot of times when I go shopping on Amazon or if I go on vacation or something like that, I think of my boyfriend. I try to grab something for him. I make sure I get something for him. You know, like when I went to Vegas, I made sure I grabbed him this little shot glass because I know he likes like memorabilia stuff and I know he likes to drink. So I got them, him this little cute little um, shot glass. Um, it was a number of times that I went shopping on um, <coughs> Amazon and I noticed a few things that he needed. Like for one, <laughs> his slippers were so beat down, beat up and just done. <laughs> so for an example, that's something that I got for him. You know, I know he loves to smell good. So recently, even though he's not a father yet, recently for Father's Day, actually, um, I was showing, showing support to one of my girlfriends and she was selling um, a bunch of um, smell goods like um, from Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works or one or the other, whatever. Anyway, so I got him a nice line up of smell goods like I got him some bath wash some smell good lotions and some cologne and stuff so you know I'm a firm believer that don't bite the hand that feeds you okay if someone is showing you love someone someone is showing you appreciation someone is like really going out of their way for you really like trying to make sure that they show you that they really mean that they care for you and that they love you then that's your go-to to return a favor and flip it that's your go-to to say okay you know what i would feel happy going shopping for you i took my boyfriend his 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 birthday's in october october 5th i took him to um, the steakhouse I can't think of the name Outback Outback Steakhouse I took him to Outback Steakhouse for his birthday and I think we did a couple other things I just don't remember everything but like just, just, just to give you guys some examples of things that I've done for my dude so you know so y'all know like I'm not just trying to tell y'all like milk that man for everything you could get him for don't do nothing for him you know i'm not telling you to do that i'm telling you that that man is really looking out for you that man is really doing his best to take care of you and make sure that you're great make sure that you're good then it behooves you to turn back around and return the favor and do something nice for him another thing that i like to do a lot of times, as y'all know, I have my two businesses. I have the bedazzle business and I also have the cleaning business. Now, mind you, <laughs> being as though I have a cleaning business, I typically do not clean for free, okay? I don't care. I don't clean for free, okay? Now, mind you, sometimes I will, you know, decide that I'm just going to clean up and not ask nobody for no money or whatever. But that's not a given. Like, that's every once in the blue okay so one of the ways that i try to do the best that i can to show my boyfriend that i appreciate him is i'll clean clean the house up really good really good like wiping walls down making sure everything is spick and span reorganizing and organizing things the whole nine like i do all of that kind of stuff you know, or sometimes if he's going to buy dinner one day and I have a little something extra where I can actually help out, I might go ahead and buy us some dinner. You know, it's not often that I'll do that because I'll be doing the best that I can to put my money towards my businesses, put my money towards 
investments and savings so I don't do this all the time but I do my best to spread things out and ensure that he feels appreciated and I pray that he does I really do I pray that he does because to be honest even though I have done things for exes in the past I can honestly say I've been doing way more for this man than I've ever done with any other ex that I've had. And one of the major reasons why that is, is because he makes me feel like he appreciates it. He don't make me feel like, why the hell did I do that for you? You're not even appreciative. But it's a lot of guys that make you feel like that, though. A lot of them. Trust me. So... I said all that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are watching too. Um, gentlemen, know this. We ladies are not uh, as good women. <laughs> I'm not going to say all ladies, but us good women are not asking you to come out of your pockets just because we want to milk your pockets. We're asking you to come out of your pockets because by any means possible if we get pregnant or anything happens or occurs where we're trying to build i need to know that you have enough for me to build with you if we have any children in the future near or far i need to know that it's not going to be a struggle being with you and you can't take care of me and the children and I have to worry about trying to do that all by myself, even though I'm in a relationship. Please understand, gentlemen. Women like me, not only are we working on ourselves, because that is exactly what I'm doing right now, but also we're doing the best that we can to make sure that we're working on being with better people. So we cannot lower our self-esteem by giving you excuses not to be well prepared to take care of and handle whatever financial or other means all right guys thanks for watching see you next time like comment share and subscribe